Another one, Great Power 60 here. Okay, Joanne. This is one loaded letter I have not... Loaded envelope that I have not finished, but um, basically what it is, a loaded envelope is something that you can either make out of bags, extra scraps, um, paper that you have in your stock, and what you do is you create an envelope, and the envelope has got um, sections in here where you can put things, and a loaded envelope is basically goodies that you want to send to other crafters that like to do these as well. You can put all kinds of goodies in it. A lot of them are making these... Um, I don't even know what they're called. Isn't that awful? Um, pinwheel kind of things using a straw. And these are embellishments using um, cupcake. This one is a larger cupcake uh, paper. And this is another paper. And then you just decorate it. And you stick it in here with all kinds of goodies that I don't have available. Yeah, so I wasn't prepared to do this. You know, you just stick things in it, load it up, and you mail it to a friend. That's what a loaded envelope is. Now, to do one, you can use envelopes, you can use um, file folders, cut them up and tape them. You can use bags, like I have these little bags, you know, that you can decorate and by folding this up this also gives you another spot here and you can decorate it and so on so I haven't done these yet I haven't tried these but basically that is what a loaded envelope is and then you embellish it you decorate it and you embellish it um, you can take a piece of paper like I say I've only done one before so Come along with me while I make a mess. So you have to decide how big you want it or how small you want it or whatever. Um, this one was a 12 by 12 piece of paper. And that's what this is. It's 12 by 12, one sided. So this is what I want on the outside. So I will be folding it in like so. So basically that's what a loaded envelope is. And like I say, this is one that I made. And then to curl the corners, all you do is you grab a pencil or a pen. You just take the corner and you curl it and you round it with the pen. And that makes your little curly ends. And then you just add various, oh my goodness, embellishments, stickers that you've picked up, the Martha Stewart ones that I have that I could decorate with. Um, a lot of people that do shabby chic um, things, boxes and flip uh, books and pocket letters and so on and so forth use a lot of lace, a lot of ribbon and that kind of thing. So that is basically. And what I did here was just add a piece on the back. I just glued it on and taped this little extra piece on there. Okay, so let's make a loaded envelope. What I'll do from now until the end of this is just to speed it up.
think I have pink. I will go check. Okay, so what I've done is just added this starburst thing that I have. And I wanted to put this on it, but it doesn't show enough. So I punched out with my uh, one inch circle punch. I punched out a bunch of circles. And what I'm going to do is put them in a circle like this to let this pop a little bit more. Okay, so I hope you can see that and we'll give it a try here. And I think I will use my tape gun here if it'll work. Sometimes it gets stuck and it doesn't want to work. So back to my glue. Okay. We're going to just stick that one on there. Now this particular paper has a smooth smooth side and a, a bit of a ridge side and I want the ridge for more texture. So we're just going to go around and put these, whoops, wrong side. And put these, I don't need a lot of glue on here, but I do want it to be, there we go, one more, there we are, and then, oops, I'll just add a little bit more glue to this, whoops, sorry guys, just add a little bit more glue to this. And stick it on there. Hold it for a second so it will hold. And there we have. And I've only glued half, half of this starburst so that there is still room. I won't take it because it's not dry yet. But there is still room to shove things in the pocket. Um, now I made this tag and this tag has got a pocket and decorated it and we could put things in it and then I've added another tag and that's the kind of thing that you would shove into your pockets or up here and load it up with all kinds of goodies. Um, you know, some die cuts, things like that that you want to send. All right, it's glue is going to take a while to heal, to heal, to dry. So, I'd like to try a little bling. See how that's going to look along the side. So we will take some off and give it a try and see how that's going to be. So I've got a little bit of gold and a little bit of silver on this with the pink. And now I think I might have to cut it because it's not quite. I will cut it here. All right, it's not cooperating here. There we go. And there we are. I'll just lift that up a little bit and move it over. There we are. And we'll just bend that up. And basically that's all you do is you decorate it your own way. I mean, right now I don't have any of my supplies with me, so I'm sort of grabbing a few things here and there because I wasn't prepared to do this little project with you guys. So let's see what else I can put on there. I mean, you can, it, it, it's... It's up to you. Everybody has their own taste. Oh, my mother's up. 
and I could add this onto here with the hearts and make a hole in there and then I could add this or I could put some ribbon, some dangly and basically that's it. <laughs>